Um, I guess for me it's two things um, for both directing and composing. Is the first is just make the work because um, that's the first step. You can't you know, all that networking and all that you know the promotion or um, the connecting with people. The collaboration doesn't happen unless you have the work and you're continuing to make the work. Um, and the second is when you're making the work, you know, always try and learn from whatever you just did. Um, I know this film for me was just a huge, it was like my film school, I guess, and um, I really appreciated it as a learning experience, and I think, you know, the next year will definitely benefit um, from the set perspective, from what, what I did here, and I think if you just focus on becoming a better artist um, based on what you did already, everything else will fall in line. Uh, run as fast as you can, get out when you still can, and do something sensible. Um, I'm just kidding. It's it's the um, it's the best job in the world, and I would just say what I said earlier. Um, I I think you'll be competitive by uh, specializing. Develop your own voice. Uh, don't be afraid to be uh, you know to be unique and be set yourself apart from everybody else because I don't think the film world needs another you know. Bombs or John Williams, I think they need something, somebody unique, somebody fresh, and I believe that that's what ultimately makes you competitive, to find something about you and develop that that can't be imitated. I have two quick things. One is learn how to throw away something that you absolutely love and walk away from it. And two, and this is to directors, composers, and the other, is don't be so serious, we're just trying to entertain people. <laughs> <laughs> really yeah, nobody's gonna die if you make a mistake. Um, once again, I think that practicing non-attachment is essential. You have to be open, both the director and the composer, you have to be open to letting go of something that isn't working for both of you. Um, and I also want to say to directors, invest time in the process, because the more time you spend with your composer, uh, oftentimes you hear about these adversarial relationships between composers and directors, you know, like, but you composer for the and all that guy is an idiot, you know. <laughs> the thing is, we all have our gut instincts, and the director has an overarching vision of what this project is. And so we have to trust their guts, and we have to trust our own guts, and be willing to, you know, I oftentimes come back the next day, and I listen to something I did, and I go with my first reaction. Because that's the first, you know, you might be working on it all day and think it's just brilliant. And you come back in the morning and it's like, really? What was I thinking? And then you have to be willing to go, you know, I spent three days on that, but it's just not what it should be. So, okay, next thing, you know, the idea is you just keep flowing. Don't don't get too attached to things. Um, I guess this goes out to the directors. The collaboration that I was most nervous about was the one with my composer because it was going to be the first time that I was working with a composer. And I think what I learned, the key thing that I learned was that there is no right way to talk about music. And I was hung up on that. I thought that, you know, it was just a particular way that I was going to have to talk about music, and that was going to intimidate me. And I learned that it's, it, it's not even like that. And it was one of the most beautiful collaborations that I had in making the film. And I'm really excited about having another chance to to do that, to create music or picture. I mean, it was just, it was amazing for me. So that's, that's my advice. I mean, several people have said it already, but stay true to your voice, even if that voice is evolving, and hopefully it is. And then the other thing is, like, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Just, Pulling notes out of the ether and making them your own is a very personal process. And mm -hmm. if you're too precious and they only exist on paper or your hard drive or in your mind, then no one's going to hear them. Mm -hmm. So put yourself out there. 